Hey guys, this is Neil Gaming, and today we're going to be discussing the Castle Miner Z speed glitch and how it works in different versions of the game. So, what this speed glitch is, is when you, in, in the game, when you're just walking normally, obviously you have a set walking speed for the PC version of the game, or on console, or on controller rather, if you just hold straight, you just go a set speed. Now, where this, where the game screws up a little bit, uh, because of kind of an oversight, is that on a controller, you can't move the analog stick all the way forward and all the way right at the same time, but however, on a keyboard, you can. So, for whatever reason, if you hold both of them on a keyboard, you go faster. Where this really comes useful, or, you know, the, the reason it's I'm even talking about it is the speedrunning. And in speedrunning, you have two different versions of the game. Well, you have modern, which is the PC version. You have classic, which is the Xbox version. But there's an Xbox version available through the betas menu on Steam for PC. So there is there, there like nobody uses the Xbox version mainly because you can't buy it and it runs like shit. But I decided to do some tests on it anyway. So yeah. Now, based on what I've just told you, you might think to yourself, well, uh, I mean, what's the point in really testing the Xbox, I mean, Xbox version? I mean, obviously it's going to be significantly slower because you can't do the speed glitch. Well, not exactly. So, earlier I mentioned the fact that you can't, that you can't go all the way forwards and all the way sideways. Well, there, in order to understand how I'm going to do this, you got to understand how an analog stick works. How the analog sticks in the Xbox 360 controller work, and most modern controllers in general, is that you have two sensors or potentiometers. I'm just going to call them sensors because most of you probably know just a simpler term, but anyway. You have one sensor for the X axis and one sensor for the Y axis. So if you go all the way forward, it's activating that one sensor all the way forward on you know whichever axis that happens to be. I think it'd be X axis. But anyway, so what we can do then is you, is you can figure out a way, and it's not that hard for you more tech-savvy people, you just bridge the potentiometer, but for one of the axes, but yeah, you just figure out a way to have it going out either all the way, just go forwards all the time, or right, right or left all the time without, I don't know which way it would be, but because it, it, it's only it only you can only really do this where you either go forwards or backwards. It's you could do it different ways, but it's more complicated. But basically, you have it so it always goes forwards or side or sideways, no matter what you do, like no matter what how you're touching the analog stick, and then just have it hold forwards. But you with your hand, you hold it to the right or left, so then you're getting the same effect where you're going all the way you're going full speed forward and full speed sideways then there you go you get the speed glitch on the xbox 360 version now one might ask well you've just recreated the how this glitch works on keyboard on controller how is this going to be any faster well that's I, I really don't know but basically the reason is is when i like the, the way i did the made the glitch work where i bridge the sensor to go all the way to go full speed forwards it technically could be sensing it going farther than all the way forward so i really don't know if this would end up being faster than full speed on a keyboard or not just depending on how they coded the game and if they're yeah pretty much just depending on how they coded the game so that's why i'm doing this it's for scientific purposes just to see which is faster and if there's any real advantage to running the game on 360 but i highly doubt it so yeah, that's that's why I'm doing this. You'll notice how I have it set up is it the is you start going when I break the block in front of me. Now the reason for that is because as I mentioned before on the controller I've modded, I modded it so it goes it goes full speed forwards all the time, so I can't control the fact that I'm not walking forward, so it's just easier for me to just to just break a block and then time it that way rather than you know, doing it any other way. So that that's why the tests are ran like that. After compiling all the data into this table you should be seeing in front of you right now, I, what I have determined is that there's really just 
like the all, all the speeds are about the same the 360 speed is about the same as the you know the pc speed and you know modern speed is similar and keep in mind these are not exact times because the i had to add a timer later on the 360 and the 360 run 360 version of the game runs like shit so the you know i don't have a very great fps so there's going to be some margin of error but basically there is really no advantage to running it one way you know run, running 360 version versus the pc version except for the fact that you have a mouse and keyboard on the pc version and it runs better so what I'm saying is is that the, it's really not any faster and there's really no reason to play the 360 version in speedrunning. So that should be the end of this video. So uh, yeah, see you guys next time.